Good afternoon, everybody. It's Mrs. White. And Mr. Rivas is coming here. We just want to welcome you to Sunny Slope School, and we're practicing our social distancing while we are here. We have a plexiglass in the middle of us. I'm speaking, and I will have my mask on in a minute, and then Mr. Rivas has his. And so we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so this is part one of our town hall series. We might not answer a ton of questions because today we are going over the schedule that hopefully by now, by the time you're seeing this, everybody has seen it. I asked the teachers to post it in their Google Classrooms. Uh, Ms. White has sent it out via an email and a link, and it talks about the scheduling and the teacher day. Uh, it talks about AM session. It talks about PM session. It talks about the distance learning. So if you don't already know, each session, whether it's an AM session or a PM session, is 125 minutes long, but that includes 10 minutes to enter the campus where your student will go directly to the classroom after they do the temperature screening. Uh, we also sent out a link of what to expect on a given day. Uh, parents, please do not leave uh, before your, your student is cleared to come on campus and then at the end it has a five minute walkout period where the teachers will walk the students out uh, and so there will be an hour and 50 minutes of in-person instruction and there will be 60 minutes of distance learning instruction and actually just released on Benito link there is an article that was released by the teachers union if you have more questions on the why uh, of the time and the differences uh, you can actually go to Benito link and look up that article. It was just released, I think, maybe 10 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago, as of the time of recording. Uh, lunch will be an hour long. Uh, and on all Wednesdays, there will be a 40 minute check in time with the teacher. Uh, and the rest of the day will be asynchronous learning for your student. Okay, voy a hablar en español ahorita. Primero quiero decir bienvenidos. Uh, vamos a hacer una serie de videos para ustedes en cómo vamos a abrir la escuela aquí. Entonces, ustedes han recibido un horario por texto, email, um, explicando el horario del día que vamos a empezar después del 12 de abril. En, este, en esta hoja van a, van a ver el horario, lo que hacemos en la escuela de aprendizaje y distancia, todos los días y todo eso. Y van, vamos a explicarse hoy, pero también está en su email y text y los, los maestros van a ponerlo en su Google Classroom también. Entonces, el horario empieza a las 8 cada mañana, lunes, martes, jueves y viernes. Vamos a empezar a um, dos sesiones. Los niños van a estar en dos sesiones. Uh, los maestros van a decirles las des, um, sesiones, cuál, cuál es. Uh, ellos van a empezar el día uh, en tres a lugares alrededor de la escuela, cualquier quiere, pero no pueden entrar en la escuela antes de las 8 de la mañana si está en la sesión A, AM. Um, ellos van a tomar su temperatura, ustedes van a esperar en, en, uh, en el lugar de um, parquear y luego pueden salir cuando los niños pueden entrar en la escuela y van directamente a su clase. La sesión 1, la AM, empieza a las 8, termine a las 10.05. Entonces, cada grupo está en la escuela 125, 125 minutos cada día que están en la escuela. Um, luego, si están en el aprendizaje de distancia, los maestros van a tener las clases de las 10 días hasta las 11 días y ustedes están haciendo lo de la casa si han cogido el aprendizaje de distancia. 
y luego en la mitad del día hay almuerzo para los maestros, los vamos a limpiar los salones y la sesión 2 empieza. Um, Queremos repasar que cuando están saliendo de la escuela también tienen cinco minutos para salir de la clase a la, de la, al lugar de parquear um, para salir. Um, entonces, sí. Y luego tenemos la sesión 2 and you're going to explain about session 2, right? So the times are on there for session two. If you are wondering what group you are in, our goal, the school's goal, is to have everything finalized by 3 p.m. Friday. That's our goal, so that the teachers can post it on, hey, there's Mr. Jose coming in. Hey, Mr. Jose. <laughs> uh, so that you can make plans. We understand how difficult this is with timing, who's gonna pick up student A, how are you gonna get from point A to point B, we understand it is difficult and we appreciate your understanding because I'm just excited to have your kids back. Like I, you, I've told, I said it before, it's not a secret. I never would have shut down, but that's everybody had, there's a gamut. This is something we need to be concerned about, but I love my job. I, I love being here with your students. Uh, I got into this to make a difference in kids' lives. Uh, and it's, this has been hard. This has been hard to make a, a difference in kids' lives through a computer screen when I don't get to see them every day. Uh, so it's been hard on me and I know this is this time has been hard on everybody I don't know anybody who hasn't had been negatively affected in some way shape or form but with that being said we will figure out what group your students in. if you if you've already met with your teacher and said or emailed or dojoed I need them in a or the a.m. session or the p.m. session we are doing our 100 percent best to honor that uh, so when we get that out that way you can start planning because April 12th is the day and it's I'm just, I'm super excited. It's a, like I said on other morning announcements, I'm nervous excited, but I am definitely excited because when you come back, if you're students, if you're watching and parents, you come back, think about this. It is gonna be 56 weeks since they were allowed to step foot on campus and go into a classroom. We've been learning online, we've been in school virtually, but to be here in person on campus is exciting to me, so. Uh, but I mean, and you'll still have, for those of you that'll be doing distance learning, you will have time with your teacher. Uh, it'll be in a time for instruction, uh, but this is, and I want to acknowledge, going to be a difficult time for all of us, even as we transition back. But my hope, as I was telling a couple other parents earlier today, is it's almost going to be like warm up school. You know, warming up, getting back into the routine of getting up, coming to school, being in a classroom, uh, you know, getting our temperature taken, wearing a mask all day that covers the nose and the mouth while we're in the classroom with other people, all right, while we work towards keeping everybody safe. Entonces, olvidé um, algunas cosas. Yo dije que tenemos dos sesiones, una a las ocho, otro a las doce días. Entonces, tenemos un grupo PM también. Entonces, Los uh, pro procedimientos son exactamente igual. Vienen, salen al mismo um, modo. Y um, hay otros niños que están en aprendizaje de distancia van a quedarse en casa. Y los maestros van a decirle cuál grupo ustedes están adentro. Y uh, el objetivo es para este viernes a las this Friday at 3.30, yes. a las tres y media, queremos anunciar, algunos de ustedes saben porque han hablado con los maestros, pero el objetivo es que todos saben a las tres y media el, Post it on el the teacher's viernes. Google Classrooms. Y van Post a ver... The, I didn't say anything. I, on the teacher's uh, Google Classrooms, we'll have it posted in their stream or their classwork somewhere. They'll post it. Entonces, los grupos van a estar en el Google Classroom si no han oído um, de los maestros. Pero Mr. Rivas dijo que estamos nerviosos, pero estamos felices al mismo tiempo. Estamos excitados que ellos vienen 
Um, algunos no vienen y están en la casa. Queremos decir, está perfectamente bien. Estamos con ustedes también, pero estamos moviendo a, a abrir toda la escuela. Entonces, estamos felices, estamos nerviosos. Y van a recibir muchos anuncios de vez en cuando diciéndole qué vamos a hacer. Entonces, trabaja con nosotros y decimos muchas gracias por trabajar con nosotros. Um, pero busca nosotros en, en YouTube y en su email y su text y van a recibir más información. Oh, my now. <laughs> We have one more part. We're going to close off with this part for TAP members. This is just part one. More, we'll, we'll be answering more specific questions because there were some emails that were sent in to me and I know I did not answer them all today. It's not that I forgot you or I ignored you. I don't want to bombard you with a 60 minute YouTube video. I know we don't know, I don't have the time to watch a 60 minute video at the end of the day, listening to myself in this white talk. So I will set, answer more questions tomorrow, but I just want to close this out with whether you're a student, a parent, a family member, whatever you are feeling right now, that is normal and that is okay. Whether it's super happy, whether it's a little nervous, scared, whatever you are feeling, it is okay. And we are going to get through this together. I'm gonna to be here for you. Your teachers are gonna be here for you. Miss White's gonna be here for you. We're all gonna be here so that we can get through this together. Cause it's not over yet. We're not there yet, but we are getting there and we're gonna do this together. So whatever you're feeling right now, is okay. Sí, entonces él dice que estamos nerviosos, estamos empezando a abrir la escuela, pero también queremos decirles a todos, si usted está un padre, un niño, estudiante, una abuela, um, Estamos en este proceso juntos y vamos a hacerlo juntos y sus sentimientos son normales. Entonces, muchas gracias. No queremos decirle toda la información a una vez porque es mucho um, y ustedes no quieren escucharnos por una hora o dos horas. Entonces, vamos a seguir con esos anuncios, um, pero queríamos um, Decirle el, el horario, puede verlo en su email text y escucharlo en, en el YouTube aquí. Y tenemos otras preguntas que ustedes han dado. Vamos a, repo, um, vamos a decirles y responder a sus preguntas en otros videos. Entonces, muchas gracias. For right for today. Para hoy. Hasta mañana. Mañana. See you tomorrow. <laughs> bye bye.